I'm going to start this conversation by asking, are candles worth paying $50 to $100 for? This also begs the question, would you pay $50 to $100 for a candle? Of course, I think a candle could be worth this much depending on scent, the craftsmanship, consistent performance, the DNA of a brand essentially. We can discuss specific nuances another time, but what brands do I personally consider to be worth it? My favorite candle brands at the moment between $50 to $100. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. These candle slash fragrance houses are brands I personally have experience living with, and this is the price range where I'm a bit more critical when talking about them, especially when I find something I dislike. If you're spending upwards of $100 for a candle, it should provide something a bit different than anything else you've experienced. Also, let me know your favorite candle houses that fall between this price range in the comments. There's still so many candle houses I have to experience and I get so many amazing recommendations from many of you in the comments. So I'm really looking forward to learning up some new brands I haven't come across yet. My candle pickup list is long, but we're gonna work through it together. Sit back, relax, and let's talk candles. Byredo was known for having some of the most well-crafted scents in the candle world, and I couldn't agree more. Strong performing candles with incredible scent options, and they're generous on the wax pouring. The candles I've gotten from Byredo have all been filled almost to the rim. Definitely don't see that too often. But are the candles worth $94 for 8.4 ounces? I will say, I am not liking the price increases from Byredo. I remember paying about $80 for their candles and now they're $15 more. Now I have to find them on sale to get back to that $80 mark. The same thing is happening with their perfumes as well. At this rate, it wouldn't surprise me to see their candles cross over that $100 mark. $94 is probably the absolute max I would pay and that's if I couldn't find them on sale anywhere. There's no denying Byredo has incredible scents with a generous amount of wax that is worth over the $50 mark just find the sales if you can. I will admit, Byredo has one of the best brand aesthetics. I love the minimal setup of their stores. It almost feels like you're stepping into a sterile laboratory. I noticed they have a few new stores popping up around LA, so there are some expansion happening as well. I also confirmed with the Byredo team that the wax they're using for their candles is comprised of a beeswax and vegetable blend. I know a lot of you were asking for that information. I kind of want a second opinion though, I just wish their wax was listed somewhere on the site. Anyways, Byredo has quite a few scent options, many of them I still have to experience, but a few of my scent picks. One would be Woods, which is a warm scent with a slight touch of tart sweetness, raspberry, Tuscan leather, and jasmine petals. Bibliotech, which is what I have here, is a smooth, creamy scent with notes of plum, leather, birchwood, and vanilla. My favorite Byredo scent is still Treehouse, a deep, resinous, woody warmth with bamboo, labdanum, myrrh, leather, sandalwood. Get your nose on that if you haven't already. What are your thoughts on Byredo and do you mind the price increases happening? Lalabo is another candle house with a strong brand aesthetic. The rustic feel of their stores is interesting and on par with their scents. I think their candles are perfectly priced for the quality you get at $84 for 8.6 ounces and soy wax. The wax doesn't seem to be 100% soy though. It could be blended with a vegetable or beeswax, but I highly doubt it's 100% soy. It may be blended with coconut or beeswax for strength. There is a high amount of fragrance oils used, which contributes to their very strong performing candles. If you love strong candles with the focus on one specific note, then Lalaba will be a great option for you. I will say some of their scents will take some getting used to if you aren't familiar with the brand or their scent profiles. The first scent I picked up from Lolabo is Santao 26 and still happens to be my favorite. It isn't your ordinary smoky scent. It pierces the nostrils with this deep, strong, sensual aroma. It almost feels as if there's some resin in here. I love the sensuality of the scent. I also love Palo Santo 14, which is a woody resin with patchouli, labdanum, and incense. Petit Grand 21. That scent is a citrus green bomb with a little tartness to it. Love the orange blossom in that scent. Let me know your favorite Lalabo scent. I know many of you love their perfumes as well. If I can give you my favorite candle house on this list that I would consider to be worth the price, that candle house would be Asta de Velat. 
When I tell you the craftsmanship of the synths are exceptional, that's an understatement. For $92 at 8.2 ounces, I would compare the synths as something you would find from Chudon or Medellin, brands over that $100 mark. Strong, rich, opulent synths with the quality to match. I have the Rue Saint Honoré synth sitting right here with other candles. I would say about 10 other candles, and this is the only thing I'm getting whiffs of. They are definitely scents of high quality that you can pick up on as soon as you put your nose to it. I would pay full price for Astrid Vlad candles, no problem, especially with the wax being a soy base with a touch of beeswax. I can tell it's mostly soy, probably 90% soy because of the natural pitting the wax has after burning. I'm glad they give the actual wax blend. Asta de Vlad was a candle house on my wish list, and I am happy that they exceeded my expectations. They're not the easiest candles to find if you're looking for them in person, though. If you're in LA, they're at the Scent Bar location on Beverly, and they're also at this store called French in Calabasas, which also has the largest Asta de Vlad collection. Thanks to one of you for telling me to go there. They did not disappoint. And for my friends in New York, check out 80s Perfumery. That's where you'll find high-end niche candles and perfumes. I have a full breakdown on Asta de Vlad. I will link it in the description if you haven't seen it yet. The Rue Saint Honoré scent, of course, is something to get your nose on. Soft elegance with a slight powdery essence. Bergamot, jasmine, rose, amber, musk, a powerhouse of a scent. I'm really looking forward to bringing more scents from Asta de Vlad to the channel in the upcoming year. Malin and Getz has some of the most clean burning candles that could be used every day in my opinion. I mean, you would assume, as Melina Getz is a clean, uncomplicated skincare brand, so it's only right that their home fragrances follow that same philosophy, right? I would say their candles has a more moderate, strong, hot performance. They used to be around $55 a couple years ago, and since increased their prices to $60. And that's for 9 ounces of vegetable wax blend with high-quality perfume oil. $5 isn't a deal breaker, as their candles are still closer to that $50 mark, compared to some of the other candle brands on this list. Their candles are still very enjoyable as simple, clean quality. You know, the candles that you wouldn't mind burning every day. Melanie Getz also puts a focus on amplifying one specific note. My favorite scent from this house is the bright aromatic bergamot scent, without a question. The citrus in this scent is quite prominent. Bergamot, grapefruit, bell pepper, ginger, cardamom, so fresh and vibrant. This time of year, however, I reach for their darker scents like Dark Rum, a strong masculine with plum, leather, vanilla, patchouli, great for cool weather. Leather is another incredible dark scent with notes of leather, cedarwood, suede amber, cashmere musk, dark, strong, and masculine. The thing I probably love most about Melon and Get scents is that no matter how vibrant or how dark the scents are, the DNA is always very clean. Nat is another candle house that focuses solely on providing clean home fragrances. I know a few of you asked me about my thoughts on Nat candles, and I have to say, I am quite impressed with the brand, their sustainable approach, and the scents, of course. $82 for a large 12 ounce candle with a coconut soy wax blend. I wish all candle houses listed in plain sight the exact wax they use instead of saying things like soy wax blend or vegetable wax blend. It leaves the consumer guessing or digging through the site to find out the exact wax blend. <laughs> and most of the time, it doesn't even say the exact wax blend. I like that Net has their exact wax blend listed. Nice and easy for you to see. Anyways, the quality of the scent compared to the size of the vessel is one of the best ratios I have come across. Even better if you can find these candles on sale. Net candles are strong performers when it comes to the hot throw and with two wicks. Two wicks plus a large 12 ounce candle. I expect a strong performer that will fill the room very easy and net candles did not disappoint. Huge fan of two wicks when a candle vessel can fit them. My current go-to from this house is Pearl Dust. It's a very bright, clean scent, a little soapy I would say. I'm enjoying the burn from this a lot. It features soft notes of saffron, white musk, cashmeran, tonka, orris, a very clean, luxurious feel. Let me know if you have any candles from net Expect to see more of this house on the channel. Nomad No Way, the candle house with story-infused candles. Each of their candles has a specific story tied to them that correlates to the scent. I love a good story to better understand the scent. Two other brands that does this very well that comes to mind is Harlem Candico and Shoot On. And now I can add Nomad No Way to that list. I'm not going into the full breakdown of this brand in this video, but 
one of the things that caught my attention about this kind of house is their belief that life is a series of physical, emotional, and spiritual journeys, which I relate to Synth itself. I've mentioned Nomad in a way many times through different conversations, and I still absolutely love their candles. $75 for 7.8 ounces with soy vegetable wax, clean burns with a moderate strong high performance every single time. Even at $75, I burn Nomad away a few times a week. Their scents are just very easy to reach for as daily burns. Their matte porcelain vessels are minimal, but the pops of color from their packaging and their lids make them stand out with the great scent. I've burned through a few candles from this house, but it just so happens they sent over a few of their scents that I cannot wait to share on the channel very soon. The couple scents I've been enjoying over the past couple years or so, one is Muse. I ran through a couple Muse candles. The soft florals of rose, peony, magnolia, iris, with some woody touches made the Muse scent incredible for the spring-summer season. The wild scent is another favorite. I will be burning that scent heavy for the remaining of the year. It's a dark, oud masculine scent with a hint of booziness. Whiskey, olibanum, leather, amber, oud. This may be my overall favorite no man away scent. A conversation on this candle house is coming very soon. I cannot wait to break down each of these scents. DS and Durga has some of the most unique home fragrances in the candle world. If you're familiar with the brand, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Pasta water, which smells exactly like starchy pasta water. I would personally describe it as old socks. There is 85 Diesel, which smells exactly like gasoline and leather. And Parquet Leather, which smells exactly like a new basketball right out the box. Those are just a few examples. Not all of their scents are that bizarre, but the uniqueness of this brand is what I love most about it. DS is a standout brand in the collection because of their scents. $70, 7 ounces with a soy vegetable blend. I would say it's a soy cocoa blend. That's just my guess, since it doesn't say the exact wax blend. Clean burning candles nonetheless that are on the strong side with high performance. I picked up quite a few of their candles during their sample sale earlier this year. I also posted it to the community tab when I found out, so hopefully some of you were able to pick up some of their scents at a steep discount. I'm a big fan of their perfumes as well. They aren't as bizarre as their candle scents though, thankfully. Imagine walking around smelling like pasta water. I'm joking, but Leather Rise, Amber Kiso, and Durga are some noteworthy perfumes for the fragrance collector. As far as the candles, if you've been a viewer of the channel for quite some time, then you know my love for Breakfast Leipzig, it's deep. My favorite scent from DS and Durga by far. Shockingly, since I don't normally gravitate towards gourmands, I love what they were able to do with the note of coffee by adding smoky and leather touches to it. This very candle has made me fall in love with the note of coffee. Some other great mentions are Big Sur After Rain, Tomb of the Eagles, Holy Ficus, and Tuberose Murder. Let me know if you're a fan of Diaz and Durga and how do you feel about their <laughs> unique scents. A candle house that caught me by surprise this year is Home Court. I'm very happy I made that celebrity candle brand video earlier this year because I probably wouldn't know about Home Court. One of the best blind buys I ever made. $65 for 8 ounces is on par with what's being offered in, in this price range. Aside from the amazing scents, Courtney Cox puts a focus on providing home products with clean ingredients. Whenever possible, Home Court uses upcycled plant-derived skincare level ingredients. Whenever possible. That could mean many things, but I'm guessing if it's possible to find the most sustainable ingredients, it would be added. Or it could be for legal reasons. Who knows? The wax is a soy vegetable blend, I want to say soy cocoa, which seems to be the most common with blending with soy for a stronger, cleaner burn. The high performance is on the stronger side, and I can confirm these candles does burn very clean. Now, scent-wise, Home Court only offers, I think, five candles at the moment. My favorite is the CC scent, hands down. One of my favorite deep, earthy grounding scents in the collection. I am falling in love with the note of cardamom and scents, which is in this, along with Indonesian patchouli oil, vetiver oil, dried mate absolute leaves, an incredible deep grounding scent. Balsam Fireplace is another great burn, especially for this time of year. I'm starting to dust off some of my pine scents for the winter. But yeah, home court, 10 out of 10 brand. Since we are on celebrity candle houses, Drake's brand, Better World Fragrance House, I say this all the time, even if his name wasn't attached to it, it would still be an absolute amazing candle house. The elusive Carby Musk candle is the only scent from Better World Fragrance House that's $80 for 10 and a half ounces. Every time I go to buy it, it's sold out. 
The rest of the lineup is $48 for the same 10 and a half ounces. So under that $50 mark, I really should have mentioned this combo house in the last conversation. Anyways, Drake and his team works with the top perfumer Michael Carby, who's the nose behind these candles. He's a perfumer at Givenchy, Dan, a top producer for some of the most well-known fragrances in the world. Ironically, he creates scents for Bath & Body Works. I've come full circle, even though these candles doesn't smell like anything from Bath & Body Works. The wax isn't listed anywhere on the site, it's never safe to assume, but if I can give an educated guess, I would say it's a soy vegetable blend of some sort, maybe coconut. The burn is clean with a moderately strong hot performance. I would have loved to have seen two wicks used for these candles. Let me know in the comments if you have any idea what the wax blend could be. As far as the scents go, I have two go-tos. One is the woody warmth of Muskoka, birch tar, cedarwood, leather, guidewood, great warm scent. My other go-to is Sweeter Tings. I mainly love that scent for the prominent citrus that mixes perfectly with the rose. It's bright with a touch of sweet fruitiness. I don't see too many people talking about Better World Fragrance House. Let me know if you're a fan of the candles or if it's just me. The Harmonist is a fragrance house with candles that are very special. The type of scents I don't burn too often due to the price and quality. $98 for 6.9, 7 ounces. Right at the cusp of that $100 price. The only thing I dislike about these candles is the size of them. $98 for such a small candle. $98 is pushing it in my opinion, but the scents, the scents are honestly incredible. And for that reason right there is why they cost so much. I'm going to say this, please do yourself a favor. If you're into these higher end candle brands, check Essence or any other retailer site for, for sales that happens often. You can get candles like these for a really good deal. You just have to stay on it and keep a lookout for the sales. Throughout the year, I remember seeing the Harmonist candles on sale on Essence a few times for $60 to $70. The scents though, the scents from the Harmonist is something you cannot find anywhere else. If you have any perfumes from the Harmonist, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. The quality of their candles, the scent, the round vessels is on par with the quality you get from their perfumes. Purchasing a Harmonist candle is purchasing a home fragrance that will provide that next level of luxurious ambiance to a space. And burning this, only on occasion because of the size, makes the burns even more special. The vessel may be small, but the burns are strong and they're clean. Strong, smooth, high performance, as expected. Especially with the silky smooth scent of Velvet Fire. I love this scent for the cooler months. Coriander, saffron, tobacco, oud, tonka bean, those notes together make one of the best luxury scents in the collection. I burn this when I want that wealthy in a penthouse feeling. The candles from the maker are very impressive. I remember being a little blown away with the scents and performance they were able to pull from 100% soy wax. The candles from the maker are very strong performers when it comes to the hot roll. $80 for 8 ounces with a very clean burn. If you haven't seen the conversation on this brand, I'll have a link in the description below. The Maker is a fragrance brand, but started off as an immersive 11-room luxury hotel based in Hudson, New York. The award-winning aesthetic of this hotel is definitely top tier, and that same feel and design you see throughout the hotel is bought into their fragrances. The vintage-inspired vessels, for one, are eye-catching. The ribbing you see on the vessels is seen throughout the hotel, from the lighting fixtures to the glassware. I would love to visit the Maker Hotel. The next time I'm in New York, I would probably just have to make a trip just to go to that hotel. I have to get the full experience since I have candles from the hotel. The focus of the founders were to bridge hospitality, lifestyle, and fragrance together through a highly curated concept, while at the same time staying sustainable. The Spirit Ascent is my current favorite. Extremely fragrant and woody with a bit of spice. Notes of frankincense, cannabis, palo santo, cedar wood, papyrus, the scent makes me feel like I'm in my vintage home library with leather sofas and 18th century candelabras. Let me know if you ever visited the Maker Hotel and how was your stay? I've come to really enjoy smaller hotels. It seems like they have much more to offer. Okay, I was contemplating on adding this next fragrance house in this video. I would just briefly mention it as the last brand today. Replica Candles by Mason Margiela. A lot of you have asked me about my thoughts on these candles, so I want to give you my quick rundown. While I absolutely love the fragrances, the candles are very hard justifying spending $70 on. By the Fireplace is an incredible scent, don't get me wrong. But $70 for 5.8 ounces is a little, it's a little gut-wrenching recommending it to anyone. 5.8 ounces is a votive size for some candle brands and it's replicas full size. 
I know it's a Margiela scent, so if you enjoy the perfumes, then you will more than likely enjoy the candles. Just like I mentioned with the Harmonist candles, please find them on sale if you can. Another thing I'm going to bring up is the wax, which is paraffin based. For $70 at this size, they definitely could have used a soy beeswax blend or soy coconut blend. Paraffin is cost effective for sure, but to have higher end candles in this price range, I would expect a better wax at least. By the Fireplace is my only candle from Replica for these reasons. If I'm being completely honest, as it sits, this is every bit of a $48 candle, not a $70 candle. If you don't mind the size and a paraffin based wax, find it on sale if you can. Let me know your thoughts on Replica candles. I know many of you love their candles, especially by the Fireplace. Please do not let my, I guess, judgment be the sole deciding factor on anything you're interested in. If there is a candle house that you find interesting, please go experience it for yourself to see if you like it. Scent is and will always be subjective to personal taste. Don't mind me, I'm just a guy on YouTube having a conversation about candles. Let me know your favorite candle brands that fall between the $50 to $100 price range. Or if you disagree with anything I've said in this conversation, let's talk about it. Stay tuned for my favorite $100 plus candle brands where I expect perfection. That should be a good conversation depending on how you look at it.